I'm really for the stars now Ain't no telling where I go You keep on testing me, question it Don't matter, I prove it to you yeah. Turn up the heat, leave you in the smoke like I do yeah. Underestimate me when they said I was a soldier Weapon, changing history They keep on calling me a legend Hey everyone, welcome to our third annual Trojan kickoff dinner. While we're sad that we can't be together this year, we're really excited that we can do this as a virtual event and we are so thankful that you joined us this evening. Um, I know that you have a lot of things that you could be spending your time on and we're just really grateful that you chose this. Um, I absolutely love what I do and this is one of my favorite nights of the year for our program because we just get to share about what we're doing. Um, and specifically tonight, you're gonna get to hear from three of our players and their stories um, and I'm really excited for you to hear from them. Um, but first, First, let's see some action from a few of our players. Welcome to our third annual kickoff dinner. We're really excited that you could join us this evening. I want to start off by thanking our two title sponsors, Comfort Supply and Lanham's AC Service Center. Uh, thank you so much for your generosity and for making this evening possible. Um, I absolutely love my job. I love what I get to do and I just love sharing about what we're doing here on and off the field. Um, with this program and what I'm most excited about this evening is that you're going to get the chance to hear from three of our current players um, and they're the ones that are experiencing this this program firsthand so I'm just really excited for you to get to hear some of their stories. Um, I want to start off by sharing a story with you um, about a new friend of mine his name is Don. Um, Don is about 80 years old and he played college football and I recently spent time with him and his wife and Don was able to share um, just tons of stories about different coaches he had. And he shared a few stories about coaches that had um, a very negative impact on his life. And then he also shared some stories about coaches that had an extremely positive impact on his life. And this one particular story, he was talking about a coach that coached him in college. And he was talking about a time when he went back years later to visit this coach. And the value and love that this coach showed to Don and the way that he poured into his life, as Don was telling me this story 50 plus years later, it brought him to tears in that moment talking about this coach. It was so powerful to see. And I couldn't help but um, wonder, what will my players say about me? What will my players say about this program? You'll notice that Don wasn't sharing about any particular win or any particular loss or really anything football related, um, all of his stories had to do with how these coaches made him feel. And so that is what we are trying to do here. We believe that this time, these four or so years that these young women are in college are an extremely 
um, pivotal time in their lives. And um, we believe that we have a chance to make an incredible impact on them. Um, who will these young women be in 20 years? Who will these young women be in 30 years? How do you build a culture um, that is, is shaping lives like this? Um, and it's really difficult. We, we founded this program on three core values, excellence, grace, and humility. And these three words are not just words that we want to put on our jerseys and put in our locker room and move on with our day. These are things that we actually um, are attempting to live and breathe um, and exhibit in our lives as a staff first and hopefully as a team, um, just from the example that we're setting. Jesus tells a story in the parables uh, about two houses. One of these houses was built on sand and one of these houses was built on a solid rock foundation. And the constant between these two houses is that a storm comes. And so he, he talks about how the storm comes, the winds, the rains beat on the house that's built on sand and this house crumbles to the ground. And then a storm comes and beats, the wind and the rain beats on the house that's built on the rock and that house is able to withstand the storm. And so, you know, these, all of us are gonna experience really difficult times as we are right now. Um, and so as these young women graduate and go off into the, into the world, um, what is their house gonna be built on? And so we are really passionate and intentional about helping give them the resources and the tools to build that house on a solid foundation. And so we've got 28 players on this team right now and 28 incredible stories. I truly wish you could hear from each person on this team, um, but I had to pick a few. So we have three players that are gonna share with you this evening. And the reason I chose these three players is because of the visible impact that I've seen this school and this soccer program have on their lives. They've all been here for a different amount of time um, and have just gotten to see growth and change in different ways. And even more than that, what I've been able to see is the impact these three have had back on the program. And so one of the coolest things is seeing somebody's life uh, transform and grow and change. And then uh, that turn into their desire to pour into their teammates and want to see the culture um, get even stronger. And so I've seen that from each of these young ladies. Um, and so you're gonna hear from senior Lexi Hayes, junior Madison Carby, and sophomore Kendall McCoy. So here they are. My name is Lexi Hayes. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee. And this year I am a senior. Um, this program has impacted me in more ways than just soccer. I feel like coming in, um, I wasn't in the best headspace. Um, I was going through a lot just personally and I feel like this program has absolutely changed the way I think about not only soccer but my walk with Christ, my relationships and I'm just so thankful that I got to be a part of this program. <laughs> Uh, being on this team is like a family to me. I don't know another way to describe it. It's just I want to be with them every day of the week. I want to hang out with them all the time. It, it's not something that's forced. It's just something that's natural. Um, the program has impacted me, um, both school and soccer, from just meeting new people and gaining friendships that I'll have for a lifetime and just being able to come together with people that are going through the same thing as you and know like your struggles but also can like um, talk to anything about. Um, this program has helped me grow in ways more than just soccer. Um, I've grown to lo love the Lord and realize that my worth isn't based on how well I do or don't do on the field or anything like that, that I'm loved regardless of what I do and um, that's really just made me feel way more confident walking in day-to-day -day life and on the field as well. If I were to describe my experience here in Tribeca Women's Soccer Program, I would say it is absolutely life-changing. Um, it has grown me as a person, spiritually, and as a soccer player, and I know that I'm way more confident walking in um, my relationships, my friendships, my personal life, um, as well as on and off the field. I was injured last fall and I had surgery in December and for the past eight months I've been on the road to getting back to play soccer on my recovery. Um, something that I think was a huge impact from this program is the fact that I learned that soccer is so much more than just playing the game. It's about the relationships you have with your teammates, it's about um, how you reach out to others through the game. I think since I found this out, it was it changed how I recovered. 
it wasn't just about getting back to the game. It was about getting back to play with my teammates um, that also love the game. It was so much more than um, just being on the field again. I think if I was still in the same mindset that I used to be, I, it would have been a much tougher time for me. I definitely would have been a lot sadder than I was. Um, on and off the field, it's so much fun to be with the team because um, I just like, they're like sisters to me and then my coaches, like, you just stop by their offices and you can talk to them about anything. Um, on the field, um, you just have people who you're competing against but who also who will also push you, so that's really nice too. Um, if I were to describe my experience here in the Trebekah Women's Soccer Program, I would say it's absolutely life-changing. Um, it has grown me as a person, and I feel way more confident walking in with my personal relationships, my friendships, and on, on and off the field as well. So, If I had to choose one word to describe the program, uh, my word would be blessed. I think when I chose to continue my soccer career, um, I thought it would just stay the same, it would be just soccer, just like how it always had been. Um, but the people here at the program showed me that it's so much more than just soccer. It's about um, school, it's about your relationships that I kind of didn't realize all of those things played into soccer. I thought it was just winning or just going out and performing, but it was so much more than that. Um, I describe the team as inviting just because I, I saw something in it and I just wanted to be a part of it. Uh, that just really put a spark in me. Um, my favorite thing to do with my teammates um, was last spring we had the Trojan War and basically just um, competing against each other. We had two teams and you kind of come together with your group but you also get to like compete against the other group and that was my favorite. Um, one team value that really sticks out to me is humility. Um, growing up, I always thought humility meant um, that you didn't really accept compliments or you didn't really allow people to give you compliments, but through this program I've learned that humility means that you don't think less of yourself, you just think of yourself less. And I think that's huge knowing that um, you're allowed to be confident and you're allowed to be proud of yourself just in a humble way. The team value that sticks out most to me is excellence. Before coming to this program, um, the word excellence had such a simple meaning for me. It was just about being really good at something. Um, when I came to this program, I realized that it's so much more than that. This program has taught me that regardless if you fall short or not, excellence is determined on how you get back from that. Um, one of the team values that sticks out to me is grace. Um, I just love the saying bravery over perfection just because like it's uh, something that we don't always like tend to do, but we always need it and just giving grace and giving grace for yourself as well. Come on in and check out our locker room. I wanted to take a few minutes and show you our locker room. This is probably my favorite space on campus. And I also wanted to show you a few items that have only been made possible through your generosity. Um, this is a whiteboard that we were able to install. We use this for pregame talks. Um, we use it before training sessions and after games at times. Um, this is a book we were able to purchase this year for every single player. Um, it's called The Energy Bus by John Gordon. And so we went through this um, with small groups and it was a great opportunity to build into these players and talk more about leadership. And our most recently donated item is this awesome winter parka. We were able to put our logo on it, and this is gonna keep our players warm when we travel up to those games in Ohio. Um, and so your funds are directly going to um, these players and helping to make this program better on and off the field. Um, we don't wanna just be a good program. Uh, one of our values is excellence, and so this is part of that. We wanna to continue to move this program forward um, in, in ways on and off the field, and your generosity is going directly to that. 
Hi, my name is Mark Elliott. I'm the Athletic Director here at Treveca. I'd like to speak to you for just a minute about a word that means a lot to me, and that's, that's impact. You may have heard that word already this evening. Impact is something that's, that, that, that's specific in sports, in, in, a, in a hitting sport, a high contact sport like soccer. But impact is also lifelong. And one of the things that I am so proud of this uh, women's soccer program and with Kelsey Phoenix is the impact that it's having on young ladies' lives. You've heard tonight from some of the some of the players, some of the reasons that they were here, some of the stories that they've um, how they've been impacted by by the soccer program and by Treveca Nazarene University. I want to speak to you for just a moment about the impact that you can make, the impact of dollars and helping, and we are going to ask for that impact and for that help, and we're unashamedly doing so. We have a lot of things to be grateful here at Treveca. We have a $3 million budget, not counting uh, scholarships, not counting salaries. So the university has done their part to impact the soccer program. The women's soccer program, the men's soccer program have the exact same scholarship numbers. They have the exact same operational budgets. So the impact that the university has given to these programs is very fair. What we would like to also do is to go above and beyond because we want to provide a much more meaningful experience than just a fair experience or just the average experience. And that's where your impact comes in. So we would like for you to prayerfully consider helping with our women's soccer program. If you believe in these athletes and the program that they are in, in, in being impacted by, and if you believe in Kelsey Phoenix, we ask you to prayerfully consider making an impact by giving a gift that would be very personal to you and very personal to us. Hopefully someday we'll be able to get back together. Hope to see you soon on the Hill. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you've enjoyed hearing the stories from our program and that you'll consider partnering with us. And we hope to see you out here for some games on the Hill.